This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 247 for Wednesday, October 24th, 2017. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining us. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? No. No. <laughs> no. I got a joke for you. No. <laughs> I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should tell it though. Okay, then don't. <laughs> <laughs> It's a family-friendly show. Okay, it's, it's family-friendly. So, um, so we're gonna, I have a joke about paper. No, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, tell me. I can. It's terrible. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it is terrible. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the best you got. Well, you know, it's 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 pen pa it's paper related, it's stationery related. It was awful. So uh, last week we had <laughs> Appleton Pen Club meeting here uh, at the store. No, you can't go home. <laughs> you can't leave the room. Uh, Appleton Pen Club and the theme last week was scary pen story. Yes. Story stories. Yes. Plural. And um, we had a couple. We had a we had a, we had a good crowd. Everybody submitted at least one. You know, was, uh, took their took their yep. turn at the the turnstile, so to speak, and uh, I'd heard yours before. Well, yes, and I'm going to hear it again. Yeah, and you, uh, I heard yours too, so <laughs> there. But uh, are we going to tell our scary pen stories? Yeah, okay. you go first. Uh, okay, so uh, many years ago, I was uh, in uh, on vacation in Duluth, and I was going to all the antique stores. I was staying downtown, and I kept going to this one store, and it was closed. And it said it was supposed to be open at 9 o'clock, and I went there at 9, and it wasn't open. I went back at 9.30, and it wasn't open. And you could walk to all these other stores. So I kept coming back, and by noon... I would have given up. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, but I was I was staying downtown, so I just kept doing, a, you know, kind of a circle. I would have gone and had a spa day. Noon came, and the store was actually open. So, you know, I've been trying all day to go to the store. It looked good. It looked like one of those places that got some good stuff. It's got some good dust. <laughs> and uh, and I walk and I look around. That's what you look for, people. Good, good dust. dust. You got to know what the good dust looks like. Uh, and uh, and there was a, there was a, sure enough at the front counter. There's a pen in the case, and uh, the the lady apologized for for being late. She had whatever the reason was, and uh, I asked I asked to see the pen, and it was it was a real neat. Um, it was clearly a, a Chinese. Uh, made pen, but it was really cool. It was all stainless steel, hooded steel nib, came in the box. I got it for some ridiculous price, 20 bucks. Okay. So it was like I was meant to have this pen. So fast forward about a year. It's not that scary. Well, it's not that scary. The scary part's coming. <laughs> oh. So fast forward about a year, and uh, I'm at this IT conference in Chicago. That's and I've scary. got like an hour off to grab lunch, and they had nothing that was really good at the, the center. So I was like three blocks away from where the from Rosemont, where the Chicago Pen Show was, so I knew there's a McDonald's there. So I walk down, you gotta cross six lanes of traffic, and I go grab whatever, and I come back, just in time to sit down for the next session. Perfect. Perfect, right? Get my notebook out, and I have a polo on. Uh, I, pull the, I pull the pen out of my polo, no pen. Just the cap. Just the cap. <sighs> and of course, they're starting to talk already, and I'm on, write stuff down, I, I'm looking all over in my pants, my Pockets. Didn't they give you one of those awful cheap hotel They pens? did give me one of those awful <laughs> cheap hotel pens. And guess what I used the rest Aww. of the uh, the weekend. So that's Aww. my scary pen story. Okay. That's a shame. It's the my only pen I've ever lost, by the way. And I still have the cap, and I still have the box, and, and I've never been able to identify the pen. And you still pen. have the resentment I was over the fact that you lost a pen. I, mine isn't that scary. Mine's more of a dumb blonde moment. I was hanging um, pictures on my wall. Dumb blonde moment stories? Is that like a future podcast topic or a future uh, pen show topic? Just go ahead and continue. <laughs> For those of you listening, I'm giving Brian the look. Um, so I was standing on the arm of the couch or on the chair and marking the wall with a Mont Blanc um, burgundy ballpoint. Who does that? It had been given to me years before. It had absolutely nothing but negative sentimental okay. value. I kept it only because it was worth something. Mm. Um, a reminder, don't do that again. And um, so I was 
uh, going to hang up something on the wall, and so I'm marking a spot for the, the nail, and um, hung the picture. Everything was great, and weeks later it occurred to me I could not find my Mont Blanc ballpoint. I don't remember if I was going to use it or <laughs> had to hang another picture. I don't know. Couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it for months and months and months. And finally, um, I don't know if it was a year, could have been longer, uh, I was moving furniture to rearrange my living room. That still gets me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I looked around the baseboards. I, I, I didn't yell at the kids, but I sternly questioned them, like, who took mom's pen? Um, it was nowhere. And um, so I'm moving furniture, and uh, I'm going to rearrange the living room furniture. And um, I go to move a bookcase, and I tip it down so that I can kind of drag it around, or I'm, I'm jostling it back and forth. And the ballpoint um, falls out of the tray, um, you know, the, the molding at the top of the bookcase, it kind of made like a tray. And the ballpoint, I had set it down after hanging the picture, and I must have forgotten about it, and it was there, and I, it almost hit me. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> or ballpoints. Or ballpoints. We can't have ballpoints. I found mine. At least mine is... Well, mine was only worth 20 bucks. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> So, uh, no, there were some, there were some great stories, um, dropped nibs, lost in the move, oh my god, I, I can't tell my wife I lost this pen, a um, couple other good ones, so it was kind of fun to realize you weren't the only person in the room who'd ever lost a pen, dropped a pen, um, left it somewhere, uh, and went back too late to find it kind of thing. Um, to commiserate with your yeah. fellow pen folks. So, yeah, it was a good time. Actually, uh, a good, a good number time. of people there. Yeah, it was a good time. So that was that was this last week's pen club. Yep. Um, what else? We got, we got a couple things on the list uh, from the past week. We do. Um, to mention, the Twisby AL Mini Gold came in and went so fast, I almost Bam. didn't even get to see the thing. Yes. Um, Which is uh, time to insert our token um, sign up for the back in stock reminder on a product that you think you want um, because sometimes these things go fast. Uh, we didn't even have them 24 hours. No, we had accidentally, the only reason I actually saw one is because we had pulled, we have a good customer who comes in, he buys every Twisby that, that um, um, super nice guy, buys every Twisby that comes in. And uh, we knew he usually comes in on Saturday, so we pulled one aside, but we pulled one aside, Chris pulled one aside, so we had two, and then I'm like, oh, well, okay, well, let's, obviously, let's, look at let's one. take a look at it, yeah. and it's gone. So um, that came in. Uh, a quick reminder, pilot promo is still going on. Yes. Uh, by select uh, pilot, Decimo, uh, Metallic Vanishing Point, Justice 95, uh, Metal Falcon, get a free bottle of Orochizuku ink. Of your choice. Of your choice. While supplies last. Yep. Um, so that's cool. And then uh, we also got in the latest um, colors and models of the Parker Jotter. And yes, it's a ballpoint. Uh, these are cool. I, I like, you know, the I London like it. Special. The London Special, you know, and it's not, it doesn't break the bank. I really like. It's what, $26? Um, 26 bucks. Um, a nice, slim, clicky ballpoint. Yeah, the, the, I like the, the, one of the things I really, thing? yeah, the ticky thing. <laughs> um, the spring in the, in the cap is really nice. So you push it down, you know you're pushing it down. You're not yeah. accidentally doing it. You know, there are some brands where you push on it, you're kind of like, did it work? Did it work? You know, is it yeah. gonna, do I have to push down further? This, you know, you click. That blue is killer. Yes. I like the blue. Really pretty, some gorgeous, um, what would you call it, engraving? Or yeah, it's like a laser, the, the, the barrel is is like chrome finished, but it's laser engraved, so it has a pattern really on pretty. it. Really uh, pretty. The blue is, I think, the best. Yes. The red's nice, too. They're, they're, they're all pretty nice. Yes. Uh, but what I discovered is you can take the, the regular editions, which have the colored barrels, and you can put the colored cap from this one, and you can swap them, so. The two blues the two from blues. the from the regular line and the new London special line. You can have a solid blue pen. 
And he did it at Pen Club to show it off. It almost matches your shirt. It's a really pretty color. Uh, but then you have two mismatched pieces. So well, what are you really. going to do with those? Not really. It's like a brushed, brushed uh, chrome cap on that, that barrel. It doesn't look bad. So you could. Um, I just think it's a nice... It's th a pretty they're, they're nice. They're nice looking pens. Um, basically blue, red, brown. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and the other color is, uh, I'll, I'll insert it in the comments later. Yes. But, um, They're pretty. They're nice. So, anyway, those are cool. A uh, new category on the website called Last Call. And no, no beer was involved when we came No beer was involved in that idea. Um, we should do that. Uh, basically, it's stuff that, you know, I'm getting ready for inventory, yeah, your inventory already. Um, this I don't, stuff, it's the I don't want to count it stuff. I don't want to count it stuff. Every week we're dropping the price until it goes away. So kind of a reverse auction kind of thing. Um, but you never know when it's going to go. You never know when it's going to go. So, so you know, it's. I think we had uh, we had the last couple of Omos cartridges in there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, some discontinued stuff. Um, stuff we're like, not going to carry. You know, right. things like that. So a little bit of everything. Um, basically, outlet stuff that needs to find a new home. Yes. Um, and, and we're and motivated. It's, it's all good stuff. It's <laughs> motivated all really good stuff, seller. But, uh, I don't want to count it. So Yeah, no. Um, anyway, but the most exciting news, I think, of the week, coming later today, drum roll. You ready? I'm ready. Bungu Box Inc. will be here this afternoon. So if you have not already signed up for a notice, do it now. Um, go to the site whenever you listen to this. Um, we anticipate these will go pretty quickly. We are super excited. They come in the standard sailor bottle without the insert. Without the insert, yeah. Um, gorgeous colors. We're super excited to finally have these. Um, there are 11 colors. Yes. Um, coming in through the U.S. distributor. Yes. Uh, there will be more coming, but uh, 4B is uh, on the... I, I'm definitely getting one. 4B. Yeah. I am, yep. Yeah. Well, it's blue, so. I know. But uh, lots lots of great colors. Pretty much, the, you know, they pick really the first batch, really the best colors. So uh, those are coming in. That's that's big. big Very big. Yeah. And we did promise Dave and Chris that we would stay out of the store when the box came because we tend to get in the way and we're like, oh, my God, where's this, where's that? And we make a big mess. And so we're going to try and behave today. I make no promises. Okay. So, and last but not least, uh, a little over a week until Fountain Pen Day. Woo! Um, stay tuned for an exciting giveaway that we're doing. We're doing a giveaway. We are. What are we giving away? We can't tell. I can't tell you. Okay. All right. Well, stay tuned. Because you're going to want one, and you and can't I, have it. Am I going to want it? Why not? Okay. Uh, anyway, Fountain Pen Day is coming up. Uh, stay tuned. Other topics. Other topics. We had a good time this weekend. Yeah. Chris worked um, the store on Saturday, which meant we didn't have to, which is uh, a nice break for us. That was nice, yep. And uh, the you. weather was gorgeous, and we went clothes shopping because uh, several people have commented <laughs> on Brian's weight loss and that he needs new shirts because his were getting too big. So we actually um, we had a good time shopping, trying things on. Well, the 25% off sale is yes. um, hard to miss. 25% yeah. off everything in the store, so... Uh, that was fantastic. Um, we went and got three pair of new pants, three new shirts. <laughs> Tell them got them. Got. I'm gonna. <laughs> we came home. I discovered that one of the shirts had the wrong sleeve length, so we had to go back the next it was all day. A ploy. It was all <laughs> and a ploy. we got returned to that. Got three more shirts and a belt. You made out like a bandit. <laughs> so then Saturday. We went from the outlet mall to the antique mall. I hadn't been there in a while. And I hadn't been there in even longer. I mean, it's um, always, always, a, always a good place, that one, for fountain pens. It always has been. It really seemed like the Oshkosh outlet, uh, antique mall had, uh, they'd moved a lot of things around. They had a lot less jewelry, a lot less pens. Stu pens. They had a lot more, like, burlap decor. Stuff like burlap, is that a thing now? Burlap it, I decor. don't know, but it was there. A lot of <laughs> Halloween decoration stuff like that. It seemed like they had a lot of empty booths. 
Could be, that they yep. were just trying to fill. Yeah, some of the regulars um, weren't there. But Brian came home with two new razors. You found them, so I did. you're to blame. My rule is if it's under, if it's 10 or under, it's, it's good. It's fair game. It's fair game. It's just like, okay. you know, the pens used to start that way. It was like, well, if the pen is 10 or under and I like it, I'll buy it. Then it was 15, then it was 20, then so it was how 25. Many, how many are you up to? Razors? Yeah. Because you have one face. And we travel, so Six I could see seven. <laughs> one in the travel kit. There's one in the travel kit, yeah. Uh-huh. And then, like, one for each day of the week now? Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. Really, really good idea. One of the new ones is really cool. I can't believe even I'm, like, getting into it. So I have a question for all the men out there who, it's wet shave, right? Mm-hmm. As opposed to scary shave. <laughs> yeah, double-edged safety razor. Do your wives or significant others, the ladies in your life, do they use, do they wet shave too? Because I, I, it scares me to like. It's not that bad. Use it on my leg. It's not that bad. I would like cut my shin or something. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm telling you. It's anyway, super so so easy. Chime in in the comments or send me an email and let me know because some of them are really cool. The new one that we got over the weekend mm. has a really pretty blue handle. It's kind of mm. tapered. So for those, I, I for, for, for those keeping track, it's a 1976 Gillette knack. In knack? Navy blue. Knack. Like get the knack? Yeah, like get the knack. I got the knack. <laughs> I finally got the knack all these years. It's like cheap trick and... My Sharona. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Uh, I, got picture, I got pictures on my Instagram post, uh, Instagram page. That's at Brian Anderson Pence. So um, take a look at them there. Yeah, it was fun. And a Gillette new long comb with a cool end on the end. Well, and one of them was marked as is. Yeah, so uh, here's the other thing, and, and this applies to pens sometimes too. You look at it, and people don't understand what the, what's in there, and and so this is this is one of those butterflies, and you 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 rotate it, and then it opens up, and then you put the blade in, and so I don't think they knew how to operate it, and they just said, oh, it's it's five bucks as broken. is, it's broken, it doesn't, I can't get it open, and I looked it at it, and I went, just fine. It, I've been using it ever since. Yeah, sanitize so that was fun. it, we're good. So. Um, What's in your, what's, what do you got over there? What's in your pocket this week? What's in my pocket? Is that, is that in honor a, of my scary, <laughs> pen, scary story, pen story, I have my... Look at that. 144R, as they say. My beautiful burgundy Mont Blanc fountain pen. What is that, a medium nib? That's way too broad for you. I don't know. That's way too broad get for it, you. Get away that. from Let me. Let me see that. No. That's way too broad. You don't use me. Get nibs. away from and my Mont Blanc, pen. that's like a broad. Mont Blanc is it's, like, it's like one a, it's dress extra size bigger, fine. one shoe size bigger. It's extra it's not an extra fine. <laughs> That's an extra fine, then. Whatever. It's an extra fine. You can't Whatever. have it. Well, what's in yours? Uh, I also happen to have a Mont Blanc. See, last week, I had I always have at least one 149 in rotation, and the other one is usually on my desk. So I have, I have the 90th with a fine nib, and then I have a uh, yellow gold version, your, your standard 149, with um, a broad nib. Both of them ran out. Basically on the same day, and Ooh, so it's time to go home. That's well, a scary pen story. I'd been trying <laughs> first world <laughs> yeah. problems, right? I've been trying to, to to empty a pen so I could fill it with Kobe forty four, and and so well, I've now been you using, got four B coming in. So now what are you going to do? I'm going to put four B in the other one forty nine. <laughs> um, so uh, I cleaned them both out, and I put forty four in the ninetieth, forty four in the ninetieth, um, and uh, and so I've been using I've been using that for. Okay. Last, last few days, so right. it's been nice. But well, that, that's, and what are you using? What do you think? Are you using that UNICEF in there? I'm using UNICEF. Are you using UNICEF yes. blue cartridge? Yes. Okay. That we bought in Chicago. That we, that we I can't believe we bought. We paid full, we paid, full I retail I can, for it. <laughs> but I got a cool little envelope pouchy thing. I don't know why they thought that was good. It's really difficult to carry. So anyway. Okay. Yeah, like nothing fits in it. Like no. just cartridges. It's the only, yeah. the only product in the lineup that fits in that pouch. That's all right. So, um, Question of the week. Question of who gets to, are you doing this? You can do it if you want. You know how Kim always does it upside down. She does it upside down. I want to talk to her about that. that. Kim. It's like putting a toilet paper and King, underneath. And Kim gave me props, so. She gave you props? Yeah, she's like, here. She said, hey, this. you're awesome? <laughs> she better. All right, I can't believe you're letting me do this. Good luck. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm ready. Can you please explain? Yes. A and B, paper sizes. Take it away. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> One is bigger than the other. Go. Oh, awesome. <laughs> right, so, I, this, this I don't understand. So this is why I Kim mean, gave me props. Okay. So what is that? this is paper blanks. Is this going to help us? I don't think so. No. no. All right, but but you know what? Well, see, you know, this now, is here, cool. now here, this they, is very they just cool. give you the inches. Well, what? You know, the, the, okay, so the, there's what? There's like A5, A4. There's ultra, midi, slim, A, mini, mini reporter, B, and micro. Well, that's how they do it. That's what right. they call it. But, but those aren't. See, so this is how everybody should do it. I'm just saying. Well, can't they just do sizes? Yeah, like eight and a half by eleven. Well, and like when you order five by eight planners, because you know I have a thing. I have a thing for planners you don't yeah. use. What's your point? I'm just saying. So like Franklin <laughs> Covey, you've got the Monarch and you've got the Classic and Personal and whatever, and all these other planner companies Can't have we different just sizes. Do the same thing. So I have Rodia. Okay. So what is this? This is. They're a, numbered though. They're numbered. Well, that doesn't. So help. like a number ten, a number eight. Oh my God. Are they in? Do I have to do math? Okay. Oh, oh no, wait, they have inches. Here's an A4. A4, what is that? Hey there, Chris here. And today I'm just gonna explain the most common paper sizes, the A and the B series. We get this question a lot, and um, it's fairly straightforward actually, once you know the concept of it. So uh, both the A and B series start with a mythical A0 and a B0, which is basically just a master size that all the other sizes are based off of. Um, you don't normally see these on actual notebooks because they're way too big. For the A size, uh, it's going to be 46.8 by 33.1 inches. Um, these were kind of initially developed uh, for the metric system, which makes a whole lot more sense than our imperial system, so you're going to have to bear with me here. So basically how that works is uh, pretend this sheet of paper is your A0. Um, for every other A size, you're basically going to have that hamburger style. So, if this is A, then this is going to be A1. I'm going to take that again, fold it in half, and this is going to be A2. Make sense? Yeah, pretty straightforward. Where we come into kind of our notebook sizes is starting with the A4 size. So, you know, this would be the giant size. You're going to have this again, half that again. That gets you to the most common size, A4. It's your standard Rhodia number 18 notepad. Um, this is, works out very well because then to get to A5, you're going to have that. It's going to be two of the Rhodia number 16 or two A5 sizes. Have that again. You're gonna get the Rhodia number 13 size. So that keeps going. So that's uh, basically an easy way to think of the A sizes. If you have an A4 size and you think that's a little too big, just picture half of that, that's gonna be A5. The B series is gonna have the same concept, except that the starting size that A size that we started off with is going to be different. It's going to be a little bigger, actually. Uh, the B size starts at uh, 55.7 by 39.4 inches. So basically where that starts being the usable size is going to be the B5 size. So here you have it in the life notebook. Um, you're going to have that again, so you're going to get B6. And then if you wanted half of that, you're going to get B7. So, there you have it. That's notebook sizing uh, condensed to its simplest form. There are other variants on this. There is a C series of uh, paper sizes, and then Japan actually does a whole separate thing, um, but we don't have time to get into that. So there you have it, paper sizing 101. <laughs> I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back to that, <laughs> <laughs> that question. Let me get back to you. I'll get back to you on that one. Who thought that was a good question? Uh, I, who asked that? Kim. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, what do we do? We blame the noobs. You're missing a pen? Blame Jason. Sneaky sly raccoon. All right. All right, what else we got? We'll, 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 we'll come back to that one. We'll come I think back that's that it. We're going to have to ask Mr. Paper on that one. Yes. So, um, take it away. Take it away? I think that's it. I think that's it. 
I think that's it for this week. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for joining. Uh, tune in next week uh, for more talk about pens, ink, paper, and guess what's coming next week also? Ohio Pen Show. Ohio Pen Show and Fountain Pen Day. Fountain Pen Day. Yep. And we're giving stuff away. Awesome. It's going to be really cool. You're going to want one. Uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, all sorts of other cool stuff, and maybe the answer to the question. <laughs> and follow us on social media if you dare. <laughs> this is Anderson Pens. Bye.